I am here at these two old abandoned barns where I'm going to be shooting tonight and I'm using the S23 Ultra once again. A lot of people in the comments of the last video, which thank you guys for all of the support on that video, it popped off quite well, but a lot of the comments were saying the expert raw mode on the camera is actually better than the pro mode and that I should give it a go. So I'm going to be trying the expert raw mode on the S23 Ultra and comparing it to the pro mode. So I'm, I'm going to be doing that here tonight. I'm going to be taking images with the pro mode and the expert raw to actually have a comparison on the same night. I'm going to attempt to shoot at this barn. I might end up doing the other barn. Uh, because there's some trees growing in front of this one, which might get in the way of how good the foreground looks. So I might just use that barn and then do the Cygnus region or get behind it and do Orion or just something else. Or I might do this barn from far away so it won't mess with the foreground too much, probably. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I, yeah, I really want this barn in at least one of the shots and that barn too will look pretty good. The Cygnus region will be overhead in setting in the northwest tonight so we can probably get something pretty good with that too and the milky way of the winter sky is just rising up above the eastern sky pretty much throughout the, uh, the entire night until like the pre-dawn hours i am in this little valley so i should be kind of protected from the wind there is a hill back there that i want to do astrophotography on at some point the view is amazing especially in the winter we could see through the trees i might try that another night though because tonight i want to get these barns done all right so i'm out here i'm getting the phone set up and on the astrophoto mode so if you go to more and you go to expert raw It'll take you to like kind of this new camera app. And it's really cool. You can already see the astrophotography settings right here. We have things uh, like this little star chart it shows you that you can click on and the button in the top left. And it says sky guide. You can either hide it or show it. I'm gonna show it just to get framed up. It's decently accurate actually, which I like. You can only do the astro mode with the 12 megapixel one, which still is still pretty good but now you can put your duration right here so this is just going to take a sequence of exposures and i suppose it's going to automatically stack these to reduce that noise so i'm just going to put it on four minutes for this particular one and then get framed up now it will automatically choose settings for you if you're doing astrophotography mode so just let it do the normal settings and again i'm going to let this go and then i'm going to use the actual pro mode the manual mode and i'm going to compare so here's the comparison I made of the Astro mode and the Pro mode. Off the bat, I can say that the Astro mode seems to have gotten the stars quite a bit sharper than the Pro mode. But if you zoom in, there's like some weird compression that's in the Astro mode and not the Pro mode. I don't know how to get rid of that compression, but if you can, I definitely think Astro mode did a better job at the sky than this. But if you look at the foreground, the foreground of the Astro mode is completely baked. Uh, in the Pro mode, you there's a lot you can do to play with it and make it better. You can use the pro mode foreground and blend it in with the astro mode. That might be a bit of a hassle though. And if you're on mobile, literally like impossible pretty much. So you need to take that into consideration. I also think there's a lot more opportunity that you can do with the pro mode. So overall, I'm going to say the pro mode won this one. Now with this one, it's actually a little bit different. I think the pro mode sky was a lot better. The astro mode just seemed to got rid of the North American nebula entirely with compression and it was just very difficult to process. There was just some very dark vignetting around the edges. And I just think there's so much more opportunity of what you can do with the pro mode in this one. And again, same story with the foreground. The foreground was completely baked while the one in the pro mode is completely fine and adjustable. So I think overall the test is concluded. If there is a way to remove that compression and if you can blend the foreground of the pro mode in with the astro mode, I think the Astro mode might win in the sky, but because of the compression, I'm going to honestly have to say for consistency, you're going to want to use the pro mode from what I can see here. There's just a lot more flexibility with it. You have a lot more control of what you do. Again, my opinion, I think the pro mode overall won. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful night out here. And 
the Milky Way just looks absolutely crazy, stretching across from uh, east to west right now. Last night was such a beautiful night, and I am very happy with the two completed images I got in the pro mode, and I hope you guys enjoy these images.